Next on Street Smarts, which of these three knows their John Cusack mini driver films? Here's a movie title, fill in the blank. Gross Point Blank. Give me a minute. Why would you even ask me such a stupid question? Gross Point Lake. Oh, I know this. I think it was about a lot of drama of scariness. You just filled it in. That's the whole movie. Gross Point Blank. <laughs> Not for sure I was right, you know. Street Smarts. Think you've got them? Find out now. Street Smarts. As you may know, I've canvassed this country looking for ordinary men and women and tested their Street Smarts by asking basic questions about the world around them. It will be up to our players to determine who's got it going on and who's a cherry short of a Sunday. And speaking of players, let's meet him. Hello, Rennie! Hey. Rennie, what's up? Hey. But what about the pie? Yeah. Yeah. Now remember, guys, it's do or die here on Street Smarts. The winner gets the bread and the loser is toast. Now, let's meet the three people they'll be making snap judgments about. I began in Minneapolis where a sales girl named Marissa explained why it's her job to punch people. What's the weirdest thing that's happened to you at work? I know this lady got really upset because I wouldn't give her a punch and she like, I thought she was going to jump the table and like attack me or something. Uh, like a punch on a, like a punch no. card? Yeah, you know, like one of those things where, you know. You buy so many things? Yeah, and then you get t like $10 off if you fill up the card and all that stuff. But, you know, she, she was really ready to hurt me. Dude, have you taken her though if there was a fight? Oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> Marissa, I understand you have this uh, sheep call you're going to do for us here in the mall. Priscilla considered trading her executive post for an internship at the White House. So Priscilla, where are you from and what do you do? Okay, I am here. I'm from West Virginia. I've been living here in Wisconsin for over 18 years. I'm account executive for a tele telecommunications firm. You used to be a coal miner. I sure did. What was that like? Uh, it was fun being underground. <laughs> a lot of fun. If you could marry someone famous, who would it be? Probably the president. The president? <laughs> president Clinton? How famous, yes, very famous. Yeah. All right. And finally, I take my hat off to Tony, who got some things off his chest. Tony, where are you from? What do you do? I'm um, from Milwaukee. I sell hats. And there ain't really nothing else to it. Yeah. I sell hats. Okay. Tony, what's your favorite movie? Anything with big <laughs> showing. I don't care. If you could marry one famous celebrity, who would it be? Pamela Anderson, before she got her taken out because yeah. that just totally killed her. She still has some implants, but they're smaller. You don't think that's... What the hell do you want implants smaller for? Implants are supposed to be bigger. I think we're having a hard time arguing with Anthony. All right, it's time to play a little game we like to call Who Knew It? We ask the same question to all three people in the field, and your challenge is to guess who answered the question right. You will lock in your choice, and a correct guess will earn you $100. Woo all right, everyone looks ready, so let's get started. Okay, guys, here's the first question I asked to Marissa, Priscilla, and Anthony. What big green guy did Lou Ferrigno play on television? So flip up your paddles, tell me who knew that one, guys. What do you think? Was it Marissa, Priscilla, or Anthony knew what big green guy that uh, Lou Ferrigno played? Okay, you guys are locked in. All right, now, Randy, you think Priscilla, Makai, you think Anthony. Why Anthony? Uh, he's a guy. It's a guy thing. His background's right. green, so okay. you might know. All right, let's take a look, <laughs> see if we can get to 100 What big green guy did Lou Ferrigno play on television? The Hulk. He's like, sit there, get mad. And you a superhero fan? No, not really. I don't believe in that crap. That's your right answer. Way to go, yes. Makai. 100 bucks for you, everybody. You're off to a good lead. Now, Randy, yeah. I think Priscilla might have known this one. Let's take a look, see what happens. Priscilla, what big green guy did Lou Ferrigno play on television? I'd say a uh, big giant. Big green jolly giant. Jolly green giant? <laughs> yeah. And what was he famous for saying? Ho, ho, ho. Green giant. Giant. <laughs> That's the wrong answer, Randy. I'm sorry. Priscilla did not get that one right. That's okay. Don't worry. We got another question here for you guys. Uh, next question, all three, was Miami Beach is located on the coast of what ocean? Who knew it, guys? Do you think Marissa, Priscilla, or Anthony knew what coast uh, Miami Beach is located on? Okay, let's see. Okay, you're both locked in. Now, uh, Randy, you think Marissa's going to come through with this one? Yeah, I think so, because she looks like a beach girl. Uh, she does yeah. with the blonde hair. All right, yeah. Makai probably agrees. Let's yes, take a look. Absolutely. Miami Beach is located on the coast of what ocean? Give me a minute. Okay. Pacific? I rock! Atlantic. Shoot. <laughs> Not for sure I was right, you know. You guys both had Marissa. I'm sorry, she got that wrong. She did not know the answer. Now, for a correct answer, let's see what Priscilla says. Miami Beach is located on the coast of what ocean? 
I think it's the Atlantic Ocean. Atlantic Ocean, you ever been down to Miami? I have, yes. All right, Priscilla knew that, Atlantic Ocean. All right, guys, last question of the round, here we go. According to the saying, it's as plain as the what on your face. Who knew that one? Could finish that old saying for us. You think it was Marissa, Priscilla, or Anthony? Who knew it, guys? What do you think? Uh, okay, and Rennie's making her last decision. Okay, you guys are locked in. You split your decision here. Now, let's see here. Uh, Makai, you think Priscilla knows this one? Yeah, the longer you've lived, the more adages you know. Okay, all right. Well, let's see if we can get you up to 200 bucks here, buddy. Here we go. According to the saying, it's as plain as the what on your face? Plain as the smirk on your face. The smirk on your face. Yes. Perfect. That's an incorrect answer, Makai. I'm sorry, Priscilla did not know that answer. Now, Renny, you think Marissa's gonna come through, huh? Yeah, I think so, because uh, she looks like she would know something about the face. Okay, now she gets this right. We got a tie game, let's find out. According to the saying, it's as plain as the what on your face? The nose. <laughs> That gives you 100 bucks, nice job. All right, at the end of round one, let's check our scores. Randy got 100 bucks, you just got it. But Makaya's also got $100. We got a tie game. All right, from who knew it to who blew it, when we come back to Street Smart, folks. Right. Miami Beach is located on the coast of what ocean? Pacific Ocean. It's the Atlantic Ocean, smarty pants. <laughs> Street smarts, let's meet our players. Now, we have Rennie here. Rennie, you have an interesting way of eating nuts. Yes, I do, Frank. Yes, I do. I, I, hey, can I get a drum roll, please? Drum, a drum roll, roll from somebody drum else. Roll, please. Here we go. Take the nuts. Of course, they gotta be smaller than my mouth. Oh! oh. oh. One more try, one more try. Always go. Try to get at least two. Oh. Oh, all right. She missed both nuts. All right, well, one for three. Way to go. On an interesting retreat with your dad once, right? Yeah, when I was 12 years old, we went on a men's camping retreat. And when we, we drove up, the first guy I saw, he looked like Grizzly Adams in an evening gown. And <laughs> we didn't realize until we got there, but it was a convention for cross-dressers. <laughs> very nice, and you, and you left right away, right? We, we stayed for the weekend, and it's very difficult to pitch a tent in high heels, I tell you. All right. No, just, 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 Still just, your own joke there, America. Just, All right, just try it. it's time Thanks. to raise the stakes as we start our next round. <laughs> Who blew it? Yeah. This time we have the same question, only two of our perceptive pedestrians Right, one answer wrong. Each time Rennie or Makaya correctly identifies who blew the question, they get 200 bucks, ladies yes. and gentlemen. And you can earn an extra $200 by using the dunce cap. Here's how. When you hear a question you think your opponent's too empty-headed to answer, swat the buzzer on your chair and dunce them. If they cannot answer the question, you get $200. Now remember, there's only one dunce in the round, guys, so use it carefully. All right, here's the first question I asked to both Marissa and Anthony. What's a squabble? Who blew it? Oh my god, you've been dunced right away. Ready, throw the cap up there, Makaya. Throw the, oh, she put it on herself. Very nice. All right, now listen, uh, if you missed this question, he gets the $200, but if you get it right, $200 stays with you and he's gonna wear the cap. I'm gonna read it again, you got five seconds. What's a squabble? It's a crawl. It's a little crawl, like a baby crawl. It's a wrong answer, Renny. The car crash in the kitchen got it wrong. 200 bucks for Makaya, way to go. Yeah. Yeah. He takes the lead with $20. All right, now guys, flip up your paddles. Let me know, who do you think blew it? Do you think Marissa or Anthony couldn't answer that? Rennie, flip that up there, let me know. Your hair looks very cute the way it peeks through there. Okay, all right. Okay, you guys are both locked in. Uh, you think Makaya, or uh, Makaya, you think Marissa blew this? Yeah, I'm sticking with the women missing the question. Okay, well, oh, all right, why not? Oh, whoops, I'm sorry. Marissa, what's a squabble? An argument between, like, let's say you and me, you know. You know, that sure looks stupid on you. I think you're retarded. I don't even know anything about color. You don't know how to match your pants to your shirt. Look at that. What is that? What is that? Come on now. You both had Marissa. She got it right. I'm sorry, guys. Ladies went one for one on that one. It's a fight. All right. All right. It's, uh, looks like Anthony's the one who blew that, so we're going to move on to the next question. This is a question I asked to Priscilla and to Anthony. Here's a movie title. Fill in the blank. Gross point blank. Uh, who do you think blew that one, guys? What do you think? Do you think it was Priscilla or Anthony? I think the audience gets the joke. All right, let's see. Okay, you guys are both locked in. Now, uh, Renny, you think Priscilla's gonna blow this for you? Yeah, because I don't think she watches Guns and Roses. Guns and Roses movies? <laughs> right, okay, let's find out. <laughs> Here's a movie title, fill in the blank. Okay. Gross Point Blank. Gross Point Lake. Gross Point Lake. <laughs> Well, you both had Priscilla, she blew, way to go. $200 for each of you. Randy, I think I know what you mean. Guns N' Roses had a song in the movie, Living Outside. All right, uh, Anthony, 
Anthony, uh, here, Anthony got it right. Let's hear how he told it. <laughs> Tony, here's a movie title. Fill in the blank. Gross point blank. You just filled it in. That's the whole movie. Gross point blank. <laughs> All right, there you go. Gross yeah. point blank. Great John Cusack movie. All right, guys, here's the last question of the round that I asked to Marissa and to Anthony. What is Prozac? What is Prozac? <laughs> Who blew it? Now, what do you guys think here? Do you think it was Marissa or Anthony? Makai's got a slight $200 lead here on your ready. All right, well, you both went uh, with the same person here. You're locked in, and you both have Anthony now. Makai, you think Anthony blew this, huh? Yeah, I think he needs some, so he probably okay, has a, and you know. Rennie, what about you? <laughs> well, I think uh, Anthony blew it because uh, women, I think. W know women know that, that drug, trust me. All right, let's find out. <laughs> Tony, what is Prozac? That's that stuff that makes you crap a lot. You just sit there and just take it and just sit on the toilet like, oh, poop. All right, you both had Anthony. He blew it. Way to go, guys. Nice job on that one. Uh, for a correct answer, let's go to Marissa. What is Prozac? Oh, I know this. It's got to be, um, it's, it's like an antidepressant, or it can be like, it, it can uh, be for like people who are too hyper. That's a correct answer. She knew. All right, guys, let's recap the scores here. Uh, ben, you got $500. That's Woo! around two. Nice job. But Micaiah, $700. Yeah. You guys got the lead. Now that our players have picked the brains of our road scholars, let's see who they pick to ride when we return. Paul Rubens, a.k.a. Pee Wee Herman, got a lot of unwanted publicity when he was arrested for what in Florida? Flashing. Pee Wee Herman was. Right, showing his Pee Wee. <laughs> Welcome back. Head on out to the stable because it's time to pick your pony. This time, Lenny and Mikhail will each choose one of the three scholars for the entire round and try to guess how they'll answer three questions. A correct prediction is now worth 300 bucks. Oh, yeah. yeah. Big money in this round. Now, we're going to leave the dunce cap in this round. It can only be used once, and it's worth $300. Now, the player who is trailing chooses first. Randy, that's you. So who would you like to ride out the round with? Marissa. You're going to go with Marissa? Yes. All right, a good choice. Now, Makai, how about you? Uh, I'm going to take Anthony. You're going to go with Anthony. He's uh, my very cool. Yes. OK, here we go, Randy. First question to Marissa. You've heard the word disco. What's it short for? Do you think she got that right or wrong? If you get this prediction right, you'll take the lead. Oh, Makai was itching, itching for the uh, dunch there, but no. Randy, what do you think? She, wrong, she's going to get it wrong? I think wrong. OK. Because uh, she doesn't look like okay. the disco type. All right, if she gets it wrong, you take the lead. Let's find out. <laughs> You've heard the word disco. What's it short for? Disco ball. Disco ball. Oh, look out. There she goes. Dance queen, dance queen, on the floor, shaking it like she means. Hello, oh, Marissa, there she goes. Disco, wow, 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 uh, okay, you've been done, Makai. All right, I get to finish the question for you. There's three hundred dollars on the line. I'm gonna finish the question. In Evita, Madonna played the wife of an Argentinian ruler. What country did they rule? Argentina. It's the correct answer, Randy. I'm sorry. He gets the three hundred bucks. I finished the question. It's kind of a gimme. Way to go, buddy. You take the lead. Now, what do you think? Do you think it, you think Tony got it right or wrong? What do you think, Makai? I'm gonna stick with him. Think I'm gonna you got stick it right? With him. Yeah. All right, let's see if we can increase the lead. Come on. In Evita, Madonna played the wife of an Argentinian ruler. What country did they rule? Uh, let me see. You just asked me a question saying, an Argentinian ruler. Don't you think they rule in Argentina? They, yes, they do. Oh, wow. Why would you ask me such a stupid question? Sometimes people miss that one. All right, you got it right. Way to go, Mikhail. Yeah, I think she got it wrong. See? Very much for you. All right, next question, Marissa, for you, Rennie, was, what was Mary Lou Retton famous for? Do you think, uh, I think she got that right or wrong? I think Marissa knew who Mary Lou Ren was? She doesn't look like a... You don't think she knows? Sports person. No. Okay, all right, let's take a look. What was Mary Lou Retton famous for? Oh, doing flips and... She was on the U.S. Olympic team for our gymnastics. There you go. You can always stick the landing. You know how they stick the landing? Stick the landing. Oh, there it is. I'm sorry, Rennie, she got that one right. She knew who Mary Lou Ren was. 84 Olympic gold medal gymnast. I'm sorry, no money for you on that one. All right, now, Makai, next question to Anthony, who uh, uh, got in my face a little on that last question. All right. <laughs> what star once shed his big black hat and called himself Chris Gaines? 
Rennie is in your grill right here. My Ooh. God, trying to jinx you. Do you think I, he got it right or wrong? I'm not afraid, and I'm not. I'm not afraid that he's going to miss this either. He will. He's going to be wrong. Let's see if we can get you up to sixteen hundred dollars. What star once shed his big black hat and called himself Chris Gaines? Shaft. Shaft. <laughs> yes. Yeah, he's a bad mother. <laughs> I'm just talking about Shaft. Shut your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> what are you supposed to say on my? <laughs> He got it wrong. Way to go, Makaya. He did not know that's the lowest you picked up 1,600. Uh, the correct answer is, does anybody know who yeah. Chris Gaines? Garth Brooks. All right, we got a country music fan in here. All right, uh, here we go, Ready? Last question for you to the round, for you, for, uh, for Marissa. What movie was playing at the theater the night Lincoln was shot? Do you think she got that right or wrong, knew what movie was playing the night Lincoln was shot? Think she got this one wrong? Yes. All right, you need yes. this. We need this for bucks. Let's see if she gets it uh, wrong. What movie was playing at the theater the night Lincoln was shot? Annie, get your gun. Annie, get your gun. <laughs> That's a wrong answer. Way to go, Renny. She did miss that question. Real yeah, well, for you. Uh, the correct answer is uh, uh, movies weren't invented then. Yeah, I, yeah. Everyone just went, oh, yeah, OK. Just watching a play. All right. <laughs> Last question of the round. Makai, it's to you. You can increase your lead here with this question, Anthony. I showed Anthony this photo and asked him, who is this woman? Do you oh. think he got it right or wrong? Yeah. Think he got it right? Yeah. All right, let's take a look. Tony, who is this woman? Oh, that's Monica Lewinsky's best friend. <laughs> who is she? <laughs> Hillary Clinton. Yes, he got it right. Way to go, Makai. That was great. Our scores here. Ready? You have $1,100 after round three. Nice score. But Micaiah, 1900 bucks. Very nice score. Now, when we return, Renny and Micaiah will be making the final prediction on a question I asked to Marissa, Priscilla, and Anthony. I asked them, when people protested no nukes, what were they protesting? Stay tuned because the only thing more explosive than a nuclear holocaust is the wager of. Brace yourselves. We'll be right back. Here's the scoop. During the break, each of you secretly chose one of the three people out on the street, secretly made a prediction as to whether they were right or wrong, and secretly wagered an amount of money not to exceed the total you now have. Speaking of totals, uh, Ren, you got $1,100, very nice. Makaya's got $1,900, though. Very high score. Now remember, only the winner gets out of here with the funds, which means everything rides on this final question. And here's a question I asked to Marissa, Priscilla, and Anthony. When people protested no nukes, what were they protesting? Okay, now Ren, you're trying right now, you're still in this game. Whose clip do you want to see? Try to pull this one out. You're going to go with Priscilla. Very nice, Makai. How about you? You got the lead. I'm sticking with my man. You're going to go with Anthony. Staying All right, nobody chose, uh, nobody chose Marissa. We're going to say bye to her. And uh, Randy, you're trailing right now, but let's see what Priscilla had to say. See if you predicted it right. When people protested no nukes, what were they protesting against? No nukes. I would think um, not being naked. Not being naked. <laughs> Okay, that's a wrong answer, Renny. She got that wrong. You had Priscilla. You have $1,100. Did you say she would get it wrong? Because that's what she did. You said she'd get it wrong. Very nice. How much you can add in your total? Renny, how much you can add in that total? She's going to add $550. Gives her $1,650. All right, that's not the lead, but that's a very nice score. It all depends on what Micaiah does with Anthony's clip. Let's see what Anthony had to say. When people protested no nukes, what were they protesting? No sex or no abortion or something. They always protest and everything. They're probably gonna protest milk next. Okay, that's a wrong answer. The correct answer is nuclear weapons nuclear or nuclear weapons. energy is what you're protesting. Makaya, you got the lead. 1900 bucks. Very high score. You had Anthony. Did you say right or wrong, buddy? You don't look too happy. You, let you, me said, you said he'd get it right. Now, if you wagered more than $250, you're gonna lose this game. Did you play it conservative or did you go big? He wagered 600 uh, down to 1300. Randy, you win. When people protested no nukes, what were they protesting? Nuclear weapons, hello.